Oh, you brought it up now, aren't you? <laughs> New at 11 tonight, how toxic are some of your children's toys? That's what a lot of mid-Michigan parents wanted to find out, so they showed up at a special meeting tonight in Reese. And to tell us more about that meeting, here's the night team's Bill Walsh. Bill. Getting as much media attention as it did last year, but five million toys have been recalled so far this year, so it's not going away. And tonight's parents could learn how to keep their toys fun and safe for their kids. Now check out this SpongeBob SquarePants toy. It was the first toy tested tonight. When it was purchased, it was full of candy, but tonight testers found low levels of lead and mercury, plus elevated levels of cadmium and bromine. None of those things are good for a child. The Ecology Center is a nonprofit organization. They say they found five times the acceptable amount of arsenic in a Hannah Montana backpack, 40 times that level of arsenic in an Elmo card game. They say the toy industry is just doing a terrible job of policing themselves. They are lobbying Michigan lawmakers to pass toy regulations. So one of the things that we're working on, in addition to listing toys and doing what testing we can in-house, is working on the Healthy Michigan Healthy Kids Co in Coalition to pass legislation that would give parents a right to know what's in the toys and children's products they buy in Michigan. Now, if you missed tonight's free toy testing, don't worry. They're going to have more of these sessions this year. You can go to our website, WNEM.com, click on the hot link section, then click on Healthy Toys. You can also find a list of 1,200 tested toys before you start your holiday shopping this year. For the night team, I'm Bill Walsh, WNEM-TV 5 News. Well, thank you. State Representative Terry Brown hosted tonight's town hall meeting.